Hi, Miss Langan. Thanks again for letting me uh, come out and giving you an estimate on your siding. <clears throat> I took a look at the house. It looks like a great style of house. And, um, yeah, you're right. The siding does need to be replaced. But um, if we look over here on the um, left in front of the house, let's focus on right now, um, all this siding is really deteriorated. And um, we can we can are going to have to completely uh, remove the siding. And so on all of the areas, we would remove the siding, and then we'd have to go up with a um, half-inch OSB. So it's a half-inch oriented strand. It's basically like a plywood that we would put down first on all the walls so that we would have a nice substrate, really straight surface to install the fiber cement hardy lap siding, or whatever style you want on the, uh, on the siding. And we'll look at those uh, when we get closer to your project. Um, the the gutters are going to have to come down. I can have a guy come and take the gutters off and then reinstall them um, as a part of the project so that we don't damage them because they look fairly new and they're a really cool design with these um, circle uh, round uh, downspouts. So we would take those off and then reinstall them uh, as a part of the project. Uh, looks like there's some major deterioration going on in the garage area. What we need to do is just tear that off and fix any kind of framing that needs to needs to happen around those windows and and uh, there's a back door that also needs to be addressed on that garage in the backyard. Looks like you replaced the the door back there in the um, back of the house, but we need to focus on the um, on the uh, garage door now because it's all rotten and uh, probably help you with security too. Let's get over here uh, on the. On the front porch, I can redo these if you'd like, and um, that won't be something that's in my proposal, but if you'd like to do that, I can make those um, these fluted columns um, composite. Also, this crown molding up here, we can make that um, composite so you're not uh, messing with that anymore. Actually, that's just a little awning with some crown molding, so we, we, can, we can take care of that. Uh, your shutters will make uh, hardy so that they're all fiber cement and you'll never have to mess with them again. Go over here to the right side of the house. We've got um, some more siding and another vent that needs to be replaced. Both vents on the house will be um, completely replaced and they'll have actually a, um, a square looking vent that would go up here in this uh, gable as opposed to having the the um, kind of in, in the the gable triangle look here. We'd bring that uh, bring that down and have a little bit better ventilation. And then you're also going to have um, a screen behind it so that no little creatures can get in there in the attic. Let's see, let's walk around to the backyard here. And as we get to the backyard, I see that um, the soffit, the eaves. In, in these areas really need to be addressed. There's a, a area of concern right here in the corner. So this area in the corner, uh, we would check it out and flash it properly. I'd probably bring a roofer in just to have him uh, get that flashed up just right. But um, this is a um, pretty simple scope of work for tearing off the siding and then um, uh, putting up the half inch OSB on the wall and then going up with uh, the moisture barrier and then the, the hardy. Here on the fascia, we uh, these boards can be replaced with uh, hardy fiber cement as well. So we would take care of that and then take care of the metal drip edge that would need to be reinstalled after we were done with the fascia. And that metal drip edge is right next to the shingle over there. So that looks good. Um, I also think that um, you know this door here again is is going to be a problem, and um, uh, it's really deteriorated, and so we can fix that and get it to where it's uh, maintenance free. I see the steel door that you've got right here. We can either put a door with glass in it, or we can put a door uh, in there that has no glass for um, security reasons, and then just one less aspect to have to service later on down the road although these doors do last a very 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 long time um, I would also recommend that we put a fiberglass door in here as opposed to a steel door um, 
just because it's not much more uh, money and it's it's really high value to have the fiberglass door in there as opposed to the steel door and that'll be part of the project would be replacing this door and making sure that all the kind of framing above the door and on the sides of the door um, look good and we'll accept the new door um, there's some major issues right here on the on the fascia um, on this side of the house that we'll have to address as well so we'll take care of all this and I think after we're done you're gonna have a, a really maintenance free exterior um, the concrete board is just like having brick on the outside and so uh, you won't have to do anything else to it there's some flashing details that we'll do uh, over here on the um, bottom of the wall next to the deck just to get it to where uh, we're not having any kind of water infiltration over there. So thank you again, and I look forward to your project. Uh, please let me know if you have any other questions.